Dude, do you realize how many movies this gun has been in? Like, a lot of movies. TV shows, video games, anime. Like, it's been in a lot of... News into anime, Katie. I, I, top five videos featuring the Baron M82. Let's go grab Katie. Welcome back, everybody. Clint here today, and we've got Katie back with us. How's it going, guys? We're with Classic Firearms. We've got a pretty fun video all about top five movies featuring our current giveaway, the Barrett M82. But before we roll into that, I got a disclaimer I got to throw out there. Some of the content and trademarks we are going to show you in this video are not ours. And this is not sponsored by any other companies. We are not affiliated with any other production studios in any way. We just wanted to take a deep dive into the firearms they use in the filming of these movies that we're about to show you. So without any further ado, let's roll into it. Number five, Terminator Genesis. What? What'd you think about that movie? It just hasn't been the same since T2. <laughs> just saying. You're not wrong. Uh, it's, it's, it's a movie, uh, but it does have a pretty cool sequence with the M82. We, yeah. we, see, we see the shooter there, it's grab it, and I mean, it looked kind of like our giveaway video, right? Uh, actually, there was no inspiration there, but really, I mean, she lays out the Pelican case. See her open it up. She already had the magazine in it though, mm -hmm. so the way the case works in the M82 is yeah. it actually has different compartments for the mag and you can't really have it in there. But anyway, yeah. you see it in its separated form, you see her load it up, take the shot, take out naked Arnold, and that is that. Weird scene, I mean, clothed Arnold versus naked Arnold. I, it, what? So you know what kind of stressed me out? What? Is how the mag was already in it, right? Yeah. But she chambered the round, she physically put it in there. Yeah. Stresses me out. I don't know. I mean, I what did she do? Just be like, you know, we don't just leave the mag in there for like looks, and I'm just gonna, you know, physically put it next time. I guess. I have no idea. But like I said, Hollywood it's, it's Hollywood, out. dude. They want to <laughs> add the drama in there. I get it. But hey, the Barrett was obviously the showstopper in I that mean, case. Really? So number five, Terminator Genesis. And let's roll into our number four pick. Shooter. Shooter. So all Marky Mark in this one here. What's funny about this is, Katie, you pointed out. At first, I yeah. thought, well, they're not using the M82 correctly. Right. They're, they're having, like, they're using it like it's a bolt gun in the yeah. scene. And I'm like, no, but then you pointed out. And I was out. like, no, it's jammed. Yeah, you're it's like, jammed. it's like, no, something's not right. It doesn't, yeah. it looks like it's like short stroking or something like that. It's like mm -hmm. the, the, the action isn't working. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't working so, properly. So after we did a little bit of research into it, on filming that day, because they were doing like the helicopter strafing and all that, they was kicking up a lot of dust and they were only utilizing blanks. Well, as most of us know, blanks without a blank firing apparatus typically doesn't work very well on an open-ended gun. Mm -hmm. So they don't have the full power and everything. So what you're actually watching are malfunctions occurring. Mm -hmm. And so he is short stroking it, or he's actually doing a rechambering each yeah. round. And you can see that where sometimes like you can see where the, the cartridge wants to get fed, but yeah. it just didn't have enough momentum. So if you saw our video where I actually kind of gave a demo of how the barrel reciprocates, you'll see where it actually makes contact with the bolt carrier group and pushes it back some. If it doesn't have enough momentum, then it's not obviously going to yeah. reliably cycle. But good on you, that was a good eye. I was like, oh, Hollywood jacking it all up. I'm like, no, that's a malfunction. Yeah. I'm like... You're stuck halfway. Yeah, I was like, okay, all right. You know what, Katie, you're right. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. So actually watching, you know, Marky Mark on the gun and actually running it, and I was like, all right, that's actually kind of nifty. But... Yeah, I mean, props to him for just being like, oh, it's jammed, it's okay, we got this, and just racking it and going with it. Right, exactly. But, at, you know, finally, once it's all done in post and edited, it just looks like a bolt gun, which that it isn't, guy. obviously. But that's okay. Still a really cool scene. Great movie. Love it. Number three, let's go. Next one up, Rambo. That newer Rambo, I was just like, I, I personally liked the movie. I bet you did. I did, dude. I mean, you remember the drooling? Probably yeah. Rambo's up there. Well, like, I mean, drooling. so put it this way, though. Like, even in the movie, you know, these, these like, you know, human aid people are going to provide help and whatnot to all these other people and, and you know, Sly's over there like, did you bring guns? And they're like, well, no. And he's like, useless. You know, like, like, oh, all right. That's what I'm talking about, man. How else are you going to make change in the world? Bullets. Uh, but anyway... Now let's go ahead and move to the part, the main action sequence, the climax of the movie, where he takes out the dude with the machete, <laughs> hops on the Ma Deuce, yeah. point blanks the driver, oh my god, yeah, and, then it's, and then it turns over to a homegirl and the guy on the gun, and he gets a collateral immediately. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, just like boom, boom. Yeah, I was just like one shot, two dudes, straight cod work. It was awesome, and I was just like, you know what? This is what's up. This is what's up. Comes in at the last moment, saves the day. Fantastic scene. Now, as far as the rest of the movie goes, I actually did enjoy it. You know, I mean, some people got dished out some, uh, let's just say, justice, if you know what I'm talking about, at certain points, and I'm like, that's what happens to people like that. <laughs> Am I wrong? That's what should happen at least. All right, anyway, so Rambo's our number three pick. And as we keep going, these just keep getting better. Let's talk about number two. Smoking Aces. <laughs> Smoking Aces is a fun movie, but what was your favorite thing about that scene? The eye patch, bro. The eye patch. The Why? eye patch. Why? Katie, do okay, tell. Why okay, 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 okay. So it made me feel like we are one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it made me feel like she's probably also left eye dominant. And she's like, you know, throw an eye patch on so that I don't have any problems zeroing and focusing. And then, boom. And then you're able to run it. Just running it. Man. So that's what we need to do is just throw, <laughs> throw an eye patch on you and you'll be able to maybe actually like hit Let's the target. Let's do it, yeah. Let's <laughs> run an eye patch. Let's go. <laughs> so obviously the shooter in this scene is running the eye patch. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, what'd she do to her eye? And I was like, wait, her eye is fine. She took it mm -hmm. off. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I don't have that problem. Because yeah, I you picked up on special. it. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh yeah, okay, I get it. Exactly. When I first saw the movie. But anyway, so very cool. Now the irony behind it is though, uh, the favorite part, your favorite part, your favorite part about that scene has to do with her, but yes. your least favorite part also has to do with her. Yes, because there's no way, I don't care how strong you are, you're not running downstairs, running. I mean, she's running downstairs carrying a 50 cap. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not, you would have fallen and busted your face. With one hand at that. Yeah, yeah, no way, like yeah. no, 150% a prop gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and some of those people in Hollywood could probably take a note on that. That's a prop gun, That's but a prop gun. anyway, so, I really thought that they did a pretty good job at showing, you know, just how menacing right. the 50 yeah. cal is, they, though. They did, yeah. yeah. Now, the very first shot with it, though, at one point, I'm pretty sure you can actually see, like, an edited in projectile, and I'm like, why would you do that? That that just looked kind of well, corny to me. Yeah, and but. it made it look a lot larger than it was. It was like, yeah, it's yeah. the entire cartridge, like, all yeah. of it. That's all what's flying it. through. I'm like, right. no, it's like half an inch. Right, <laughs> but other than that, what you start to see though is just the destruction come through. Yeah, then you got Ryan true, Reynolds, yeah. he's starting to shoot. And it almost seems like it maybe wasn't scripted, but because but because of that, it looked more mm -hmm. realistic. Oh, he yeah. grabs his face while at some point a projectile makes impact at the wall right next to him. Oh yeah. And all that debris and everything just gets shot into his yeah, face. Which and is definitely the case. That is definitely going <laughs> would, to happen. Yeah, that you would are definitely going to get happen. Messed up yeah. if something is making impact right next to your face, especially when it's probably a 660 grain projectile traveling at 3,000 feet per second. So yeah, yeah that's gonna mess you up a little bit. Yeah. My least favorite part, which was also probably the most awesome parts, was the mag dump. <sighs> Look guys, I've magged up a 50 cal before. Where do you find a 26 round mag? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. So I, I need one of those, that's all yeah. I'm saying. I mean, she's on the bed, just letting loose and like, get it. And then you Wait. start counting and you're like, 27, 28. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I need that magazine. Yeah. So anyway, but Smoke and Aces, they do a pretty good job. Oh, the other thing, the constant reloading that, oh, that Ryan was yes. doing. I'm not really sure where he got the mags, but good good for him. I don't know, man. Maybe he can hide a lot in his pants. I don't know. But anyway, so the constant reloading, I thought that was a pretty cool thing. If you're in a firefight, it's always going to be happening type oh, yeah. of stuff. So yeah, I that's one thing I'll give him props for. I mean, yeah. she didn't reload, but he did. So it's fine. <laughs> we try to make up with it you know, here and there. <laughs> Fair enough. That, that works for me. But anyway, that's our number two pick, Smoke and Aces. And our number one, I think we already know, but you guys will love it. And for number one, Hurt Locker. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you just like uh, Jeremy Renner and Falcon over there? You know what I mean? I like mean, you got you got Hawkeye and Falcon in this movie together wrong. before they were Hawkeye and Falcon. But anyway, the 50 cal scene in Hurt Locker. That one's that one's kind of intense, right? It is. Yeah. So you look at the gun. So there's a building out in the middle of the desert, and then they've got a sniper over there shooting at these guys, and already took out the British guy behind the Barrett right. already. So they're like, well, this is kind of a bad situation to be in. Mm -hmm. Interesting scene, however. Uh, I've mentioned before that the Barrett M82 actually has some pretty loose tolerances. It's not exactly a very picky firearm. Right. The M107 I have found though, the one that is actually made to be shot suppressed, that one I actually found to be a little bit more picky. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's just because it is designed to be suppressed. So right. with a suppressor on it, it might actually run a lot better. But anyway, the M82, uh, this dude just runs, right? And in this scene, there's blood on the 50 cal cartridges. Yeah. Because of that, they're saying that it's jamming. And you can see him trying to wrap no, it. No, he didn't feed it right. 
He didn't feed it right. He wasn't aggressive enough feeding it, and that's you're, why. You're talking about like seeding the mag? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he you're, didn't you're, you're speaking right. from personal experience. Yes, after after my 25 tries of seeding it right, he didn't seed the mag correctly. <laughs> Don't blame it, it on the blood. Yeah. <laughs> He goes and he goes to pull the tree. He's like, it's not seeding. I'm like, the mag's literally sitting on the ground. Yeah. Like, no, you're, it's your fault. <laughs> Don't blame it on the blood. Katie got spicy about this one. She was like, oh my goodness. Like, you need the arm of the Winter Soldier to throw that thing in there, I guess. But anyway, so yeah, you see him try to run it. He, the guy takes the water, spits on it, and you know, does the spit and rub. And then after that, uh, it, it starts to work all right for him. And he takes out a couple of dudes. Yeah. Uh, it really stressed me out, though, because he loaded the one. And then all of a sudden, he's like, all right. Got the second one. I'm like, where did that come from? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, the other interesting part I thought though is so he shoots at the one guy that's oh. just kind of like laying in the middle of the desert, yeah. and then uh, he misses initially. Right. And it looks like it landed in front of him. Mm -hmm. I will tell you right now, at that point, it, all of the crap that dude wouldn't oh, just be yeah. able to get up, hop up. I I personally do not yeah. think if you had a 50 cal land that close to you and you're just laying on top of rock and dirt, there's going to be a lot of debris and everything spraying up on you. Yeah. I would be holy crap trying to roll out of the way right. uh, before I just pop up and run. Mm -hmm. And then he makes impact with him while he's running. <laughs> Couldn't have done it while he was laying there, but apparently hits him while he's running. Uh, and then you don't when see actually. When he's on the side, it's fine. Th that's right. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but then you see, uh, I would know for a fact. At least I would think that yeah. the projectile would actually go straight through, and then you'd yeah. see an impact behind. Yeah, he was—he was not a very big dude. It definitely would have went through him. Yeah. Would so just yeah, we would have seen rocks or something on the other end. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But the Hurt Locker—I think it's a great movie. It's very enjoyable to watch. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely recommend. It's an older one, but it is really good. Uh, but anyway, so. Also in that scene, uh, we see what it was. We got the the rounds being rinsed off. You've got the uh, the mag not being fully seated. That just really really got me, man. <laughs> uh, but from there though, they do a good job. All the dust kicking up every time you shoot it, whatever. Yeah, like that I is said, definitely a true statement. Yeah, because that happened to you yes. once you were laying down behind the gun, pulled yeah. the trigger. I mean, that first shot. I mean, it just. Your hair, I mean, everything. Yeah. You had like, even though you had ear pro in, you shot dirt all over. Like, I was like, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, man, it was funny. But you did a good job with it. Nice. And uh, we just gotta get that trigger control. I know, it was bad. It was not, not, not good. <laughs> we'll work on it though. You're good, you're good with your AR though, so that's all I'm about. But work anyway, too. Yeah, you'll be fine. But anyway, that was our top five pick for movies featuring the Barrett M82 A1. Well, or just the M82. There's different deviations of yeah. the Barrett in these. But anyway, the M82 A1 is our current giveaway. It's this guy right here. I'm gonna knock down our plaque, but let's just try this here. There we go. I got it. There you go. Good job. Yeah, I do things right every now and then. So anyway, the M82 A1 50 BMG semi-auto magazine fed beast. This thing is an absolute pleasure. And uh, what was your one word describing how this thing was to shoot again? Badass. Yeah, that's it. So <laughs> we reached a big milestone of hitting 1 million subscribers. Right. YouTube even sent us a plaque for it, which honestly did not see that coming. Nope. Uh, so that was pretty cool. And uh, we figured since we hit a big milestone, why not do a big giveaway? It's true. And so we got Katie involved even, and you did a good job. There's a lot of work to do, but. We'll just gotta keep magged up in 50 cals. It'll be a good time. Anyway, if you guys wanna see Katie uh, magged up in more 50 cals, should we just keep giving away Barrett's and stuff? I don't know. You let me know down in the comment section. Um, what other guns would you like to see Katie magged up? Let us know. I'm trying to get some belt feds, honestly. That's, what we, that's really what we need. <sighs> Support organizations like Gun Owners of America who has a no compromise stance when it comes to owning firearms. Yeah. Just go full auto and have a good day. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it off there. Don't forget to utilize the code word. 1M. <laughs> if you guys don't know what that stands for, 1 million. 1M is your code word. Don't forget to refer your friends and family as well. As always, guys, we appreciate you and your business. And God bless. We'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com and I'll see you down below about your favorite movies featuring this guy. <laughs>